नमस्कार वुमेन्स गो थ्रू मेनी फेजेस इन लाइफ इन विच देर इज कॉन्स्टेंट अपील इन द होमोनल लेवल यू नीड हॉमोन इन अ स्पेसिफिक अमाउंट फॉर द बॉडी टू फंक्शन वेल बट देन हाउ टू नो दैट यू हैव हॉमोनल इम्बैलेंस देर आर सम साइंस एंड सिम्टम्स टू लुक आउट फॉर लाइक अनएक्सप्लेन वेट लॉस और वेट गेन डिप्रेशन एंड एंगजाइटी फटीग इन सोबनिया infertility or irregular periods low libido changes in appetite and digestive issues many women who have come to the yoga institute to manage hormonal imbalances have found relief from all such symptoms there are yogic techniques such as asanas pranayams mudras and meditation to bring excellent balance in health let us look at some of them today first Usha's mudra there is a mudra called Usha's mudra which benefits the endocrine system and specially for people who are suffering from PCOS and thyroid issues Usha's mudra is held by clasping the hands interlacing the fingers and joining the thumbs at the tip so here sit in any meditative pose clasp your hands together so that fingers are interlaced palms facing towards you women should place right thumb between the left thumb and index finger place your hands on your lap close your eyes and breathe normally practice this mudra in the morning usha time and hold it for 5 to 15 minutes second let's see the three important asanas for hormonal problems asanas like bhadrasana Bhujangasan and Setu Bandh Asan are very effective in maintaining the health of the glands which produce hormones. Bhujangasan or Cobra pose massages and stimulates the adrenaline gland. It also stretches the neck and throat region to improve the function of thyroid gland. Setu Bandh Asan or the bridge pose increases blood circulation especially in the trunk region. Bhadrasan the popular butterfly pose is particularly helpful during pregnancy it improves blood circulation in the lower body and calms the mind these asanas massage the adrenal gland stimulate internal organs and balance stress hormones a regular yoga practice will help you to handle any hormonal imbalances before they become major health concern third is food eat protein rich food protein is essential because it produces protein derived hormones in the body include pulses dairy products and nuts in your diet to get sufficient protein consume cruciferous vegetables like broccoli cauliflower which may help balance the estrogen level This diet will also reduce breast cancer risk during and after menopause when the estrogen levels are low. A diet which is composed of refined sugar and animal products may cause inflammation and lead to higher estrogen levels, which are the risk factor for breast cancer and ovarian cancer. Fourth, practicing Anulom Vilom Pranayam daily. helps to maintain hormonal harmony in your body it also keeps your mind in a balanced state this pranayam which is also called as alternative nostril breathing stimulates your ida that is ida pingala and sushubdha nadi or energy channel it develops breath awareness and helps to overcome psychosomatic problems such as insomnia which many women suffer from if their hormonal balancing is disturbed fifth nispanda bhava yoga offers simple meditative techniques such as nispanda bhava which reduces the stress hormone called cortisol in this technique your mind is directed outwards and this creates a feeling of body forgetfulness this forgetfulness helps your body to normalize its function 
and to heal faster. Let us see the steps. Sit on your mat while leaning against the wall. Sit with your feet apart and outstretched. Keep your spine naturally erect. Rest your hands on your thighs with your palm facing upwards. Close your eyes and passively observe any sound which is there in the atmosphere. And the sound also can fade away, but you don't have to have any judgment. Practice this for 5 to 15 minutes. Now you can see that hormonal imbalance could be managed very effectively with these five non-invasive techniques. Try to follow these methods for a few months and you'll definitely see great amount of difference in your health, your general health. So try and follow these natural techniques rather than going for artificial hormonal treatment or some operations. So leave invasive treatments and go to the natural treatment. You will feel more balanced, more relaxed, much, much more healthier and happier you. So try and take charge of yourself and come out of all the imbalance problems which usually every woman faces. Take care. Namaskar.